So now let's uh, go to the third one. And the third one is, uh, is the paper uh, from Kao Wenxian and Su and, and his other co-worker, uh, Wu. And the, the topic of the, of the presentation is the tropological anti-corrosion and high temperature properties of nitride high entropy alloy coatings by reactive uh, magnetron sputtering. And let's welcome Professor uh, Ms. Wu. Okay. okay. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chin Mei Wu, and it's a pleasure to be here and have a brief introduction about my top topic tribological anti corrosion and high temperature properties of nitride high entropy alloy coating by reactive magnetron sputtering. And I'll divide my presentation into four parts. In the beginning, I'll, I'll start with some background information about high entropy alloy. Secondly, I'll, I'll introduce some experiment detail and then is the result and finally is the conclusion. The high entropy alloy was named by Professor Ye and the basic definition is that the alloy must contain at least five elements and each element and I, is in a range of 5 to 35 atomic percentage. And there are four main core effects of high entropy alloy. The first is the high entropy effect. The high entropy effect, uh, the high entropy in the alloy would enhance the solubility of the elements and simplify the, the alloy structure. That the alloy usually is usually from uh, FCC structure or BCC structure instead of intermetallic compound. And that's Next is the sluggish diffusion. The sluggish diffusion will slow down the recrystallization and the, cro cro the grain crossing that the alloy usually have high thermal stability. Next is the lattice distortion. Different atomic size of elements through to each other will cause the alloy have severe lattice distortion. And uh, due to the lattice distortion, the alloy usually have high hardness and strength and strength. And finally is the cocktail effect. The cocktail effect mean, means that adding functional elements will cause the alloy to have functional property of the elements. For example, for example, if adding more, if adding outside uh, anti-oxidation elements into the alloy, the alloy will have better oxidation resistance. And in this presentation, we chose titanium, niobium, silicon, and the chromium and chromium to compensate our high entropy alloy coating. Our high entropy alloy coating was deposited uh, using reactive magnetron sputtering under different nitrogen nitrogen glass rate and it ranged from zero to 10 center, center cubic centimeter per minute. And the sample was named as an X. The X means the nitrogen glass ray divide the argon glass ray. The argon glass ray was fixed at 28 ccm. Before we deposit the main high entropy alloy coating, an interlayer coating of chromium is deposited to improve the ad adhesive property between tungsten carbide coating, tungsten carbide structure, and the high entropy alloy coating. In this presentation, we will discuss the structural adhesive mechanical, tribological, and corrosion property. And to investigate the high, the, the heat trick, the high, uh, the thermal stability, the sample was annealed in a vacuum heat treatment furnace at 700, 750 Celsius degree for an hour. And the sample after annealing was named as HNX. As the, as the, uh, as the showing the big, uh, this figure shows the element concentration about the before and after annealing coating. And it can see that the nitrogen content increased as the nitrogen glass rate increased. And the other five main elements was in the range of 5 to 35 atomic percentage. It's, it means the basic definition of high entropy alloy. After annealing the oxidation, uh, oxygen content decreased as the nitrogen glass rate increased. 
which means the result means that the more nitrogen content in the coating, the coating will have better oxidation resistance. And this page shows the X-ray diffraction pattern of a deposit coating, and N0 displays a wide and low intensity peak, which means it is a formal structure. And adding adding nitrogen into coating can it can signal the peak has the peak shift to lower angles. It means that the contest uh, uh, that is con constant is increased. And as nitrogen can be regarded as the sixth element of high entropy alloy coating, the more nitrogen adding to the coating, the more disorder of the coating. So that the structure of N0.4 and N0.5 displays a, a formal structural class FCC net, narrow, uh, narrow crystallized structure. And previous study also demonstrated the same result. This page shows the S ray diffraction of a neo of a neo coating. And between 35 to 45 degrees, it can see that the coating structure transfer from body central qubit to face central qubit. And the HN0.4 is in the trans transition phase. This page shows the cross cross section SEM image. Uh, as shown in the figure, the N0 displays a dense and featureless structure. While adding nitrogen into the coating, the coating has no obviously changed. That the N0.3 remains uh, remain the dense and featureless coating. However, when the nitrogen comes nitrogen flux rate reach to 10 ccm, the Structure turned to normal structure, and after heat treatment, the the structure have no obviously change that N0, HN0, and HN0.3 remains the dense and featureless structure, and HN0.5 remains the normal structure. And according to the SEM image, we calculate the thickness, and you can see that. The thickness increase in the beginning and decrease when the N0.4. The decrease of the thickness is due to the is because that the exist nitrogen exist nitrogen will cause the target poisoning and the target poisoning will reduce the sputter efficiency. This page shows the hardness of each coating and the hardness was tested by narrow identifier. And it can, as the figure show, it can see that the N0 has the lowest hardness about 24.7. And, and the hardness increase as the nitrogen content increase and reach the maximum value about 35.8 when N0.5. It is due to the metal to nitrogen uh, bond and the solid solution strengthening. And as the table, as shown in the table, the hardness has no obvious change demonstrate that the high entropy alloy coating has excellent thermal stability. This page shows the adhesive property of, of high entropy alloy, and only high entropy alloy shows the same result. So take only take N0 H N0, for example. And you can see that the scratch scratch track has no obviously peel off. And this results Results imply that the high entropy alloy coating adhere well to the tungsten carbide substrate. And after heat treatment, the results also demonstrate the same result that the high the alloy the coating remains excellent adhesive property after heat treatment. This page shows the tribological property of high entropy alloy and the tungsten carbide substrate. And you can see that the average co friction coefficient of high entropy alloy are higher than, than tungsten carbide. And so this is the one of the reasons why the wheel rate of high entropy alloy are, uh, are higher than the, the substrate. And according to the page, the page shows the as deposit wheel rate. And you can see that as the nitrogen content increase, the wheel rate decrease. And however, the N0.5, the uh, wheel rate of N0.5 increased. It is due to the columnar structure. The columnar structure is 
is that uh, is looser than the other dense and featureless structure. And this case shows the polarization curve of uh, of uh, of deposit coating and annealing coating. And using type of method to calculate the corrosion current and corrosion volume. And we can see uh, uh, and the corrosion current are usually to evaluate the anti-corrosion property. And you can see that the high entropy only has higher corrosion currents than, than transparent carbide. And it is due to that the high entropy alloy has higher soft surface roughness. And only compare the high entropy alloy, you can see that the N0.5 has the lowest has the lowest corrosion current that it is due to the metal to match strong bound is more than, more stable than metal to metal bound and the surface roughness of N0.5 is the lowest. And after heat treatment, the the constant the uh, anti-corrosion property of tungsten carbide is become too poor, and while the other high entropy alloy has no obvious state change, that the the uh, this result also demonstrates that the high entropy alloy has excellent thermal stability. And this case shows the thermal stability, and the thermal stability, and according to a previous study. If the coating has excellent thermal stability, the surface energy will have no obvious change before and after heat treatment. And as showing the I showing the table, the tungsten carbide surface energy decreased from 24.8 to 17.2. And while the other high entropy alloy has no such such uh, such big difference. And this this result demonstrates the surface demonstrate that the high entropy alloy has, has excellent thermal stability. And next is the conclusion. The N0.5 and HN0.5 cross-section structure shows a chromer structure, while the other high entropy alloy displays a dense and featureless structure. And due to the metal to nitrogen bound and the solid solution strengthening, the harness rate as the nitrogen flux rate increase. And the, all the high entropy alloy demonstrate an uh, excellent adhesive property. And adding nitrogen into high entropy alloy can prove the high entropy, uh, high entropy alloy trabological property. And the surface roughness is the main influence of to affect the anti corrosion property. And N0.5 is the most has the most metal to nitrogen bound so that and the so that it has the best anti corrosion properties. Uh, thank you for your attention. Okay, okay. thank you, uh, Ms. Wu. If there is no question, and I have a simple question, uh, what's the uh, what's the condition for the for the topological? I mean, the, the friction coefficient of friction. How do you test it? I used ball, a ball on this tester and uh, against the silicon nitrogen ball under this condition. So uh, it's only the lower specimen change uh, with the different nitrogen or hydrogen HN uh, content, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for uh, for the presentation uh, by Miss Wu.